Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give our praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakadash. That will honor to the O's, the Prosper of Grain Millstone, the Tumblr Truth and Will. Peace, best in the to the Icon out there, scattered around to the four corners of the earth. And so, your truth, not true sincerity. To you, I say Shalom. This is your brother Nabala coming to you with another video in the spirit. And um, it's just been something that's been on my mind lately. And, I, and I'm just seeing it more and more every day. And I understand why two thirds of our people just have to go. You know, because you can see that they're 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 just not trying to get it. You know, they don't they don't want anything better. You know, they they want this they want this life, you know? So and it's and and but what comes with this life is a consequence. And and the consequence that comes with this life that you want to live is is death. Okay? And I'm gonna grab the scripture. This is Jeremiah 17 and 9. It says, The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? God. And I and I just want to talk about the desperately wicked part because that's Jake. You know, Jake is desperate, desperately wicked. You know, like, it's all type of wickedness that go on, but Jake takes it to the whole next level. You know? And, and, and the scriptures say, How the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom. So, Jake, Jake, honestly, Jake knows better sometimes, too, you know, like Jake is in his mindset where, you know, they want to party in BS and, and, and do all this wicked shit in their, in their youth, but then, uh, once they get older, they feel like they're going to make an atonement, <laughs> make an atonement for all of that shit that they did, no, it don't work like that, you know, uh, the scriptures talk about, um, um, gather instruction and it, it, uh, roughly paraphrase the scripture. I can't remember. I can't quote it verbatim. But basically, it talks about how uh, uh, ga gathering wisdom in your youth. That means while while you're young, you know, and that not necessarily like at a young age, but while while you like are not that old, you know, gather gather wisdom. You know, get into this truth, get into this knowing. That way, you can start, you know, rehearsing the righteous acts to the best of your ability. You know, you start seeking the Lord. You know, and you start putting off that old man and you start trying to cease from sin. Because that's ultimately why 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 we die, because of sin. You know? If it wasn't no if we didn't sin, we had no reason to die. You know, if we didn't go off, we had no reason to die. But th that's why we have to die. Well not uh, not all of us, but that's why uh people die, is because of sin. But Jake don't get that, you know. Jake think that they can just sin forever and that they never going to lot kid. That they never gonna have to atone for that. But that's why the Lord has to has to purge them out the way he has to purge them out. And uh I'm gonna grab this. This is Ezekiel twenty two and uh seventeen. It says, And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, the house of Israel is is to me become dross. All all they are brass and tin. And iron and lead, in the midst of the furnace, they are even the dross of silver. Therefore, this saith the Lord Yahweh, because you are, because ye are all become dross. Behold, therefore I will gather you into the midst of Jerusalem, as they as they gather silver and brass and iron and lead and tin into the midst of the furnace, to blow the fire upon it, to melt it. So I gather. You in my anger and in my fury, and I will leave you there and melt you. Yeah, I will gather you and blow upon you in the fire of my wrath, and you shall be melted in the midst of Khan. And that's and that's talking about the two thirds. How how the Lord is gonna um when he when he sends that nuclear dest destruction on this place and them and them nukes hit and start burning everything up, the two thirds got to burn in that. You know he he got to purge them out. He got to cleanse them. Because they're not going to get it on this side, you know. That like the scriptures say, their their hearts are desperately wicked, so they're never going to get it. And um, I got a scripture. Uh. <laughs> This is uh, Jeremiah 11 and 10. It says, 
They are turned back into the iniquities of their forefathers, which refused to hear my words, and they went after other gods to serve them. The house of Israel and the house of Judah have broken my covenant, which I made with their fathers. Kind, I was like it. Kind, like it just said in the scripture. You know, they are turning their back into the iniquities of their of their forefathers. And so they so they went back like like back in the uh back in the day back in the like back then. Uh, when our forefathers went off, you know, and was sinning against sinning against the Lord, we our people is back into that same mind state. Even when um, and and you gotta understand the two thirds did this to themselves. They marked themselves for death um, um, back in the time of Yahweh Shai. When they was going through the uh, crucifixion of Yahweh Shai, they said, put the blood on us and our children. So those children, those those same people who said that and their children are on it, on this earth today. So you have to, you have to, shit, you have to pay for that. And I'm going to continue to read. It says, therefore, they said the Lord, behold, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape. And though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. Con, because they like I said they're not trying to get on this side. You know, Jake Jake just want to live it up. Jake want to be hand in hand with Esau. Whatever Esau, uh, whatever wicked shit Esau come out with, Jake want to take it and run it to the max. Especially with this pride shit. Like you don't see too many Edomites out here really pushing this pride shit. Well, I ain't gonna say push because they pushing it, but you don't see too many Edomites out here. You know, gay Edomites out here. They out here, but you don't see them acting like how Jake act. I'm talking about you got Jake males out here. Got to have that, that lash zone, the nails, tight your clothes, walk off feminine, talk all effeminate. Like, like, bro, like this place is just, man, this place is just terrible. The Lord has to hurry up and come back and destroy this place because it. If the Lord was a lot, it's going even worse. Man, no telling where this where this shit will go. Because our people, like I said, our people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. You know? People are like, Jake can't stand on their own two, own, own two feet. You know? They can't. They followers. And the Lord don't like that. He ain't set us up to be followers. He set us to be the example for the other nations. You know? But he had to humble us. He had to chastise us. But even with the, the Lord doing that, Jake still don't want to get it. Jake still don't want to get it right. That's why uh, I'm going to grab this scripture. So I like it. Hold on. Let me do this. Let me do this. All right. So my phone will keep doing that. So I can about this real quick. So I can about that. Uh, let me grab this. This is Second Chronicles fifteen and thirteen. It says that whosoever will not seek the Lord Yahweh of Israel shall be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. Kind, and and our people are not trying to seek the Lord. They not, you know, you know. But you can even even with them not being to seek the Lord, they can. Man, you can see it. You can see this place is slowly on its downfall. And that's why the Lord, that's why they ain't, they ain't going to have no cloak for their sin. Because it's not like the Lord is not showing Jake what the fuck is going on. They just refuse to see it, which ultimately is, is through Yahweh Bashem Yahweh blinding them, but still. You know? <laughs> All this stuff going on and the Lord has blinded you. That That is crazy. That is crazy, and that's show, and that just showing you more and more who, why he has to kill the two thirds because they're just ignorant, and willingly ignorant, and and that's the problem. They they don't they don't want to do better. They don't even want to know better, at all. So that's why they have to go. Even 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 Jake like Jake have an evil eye towards his own for what. We ain't did nothing to you. You Jake, Jake would treat another Jake worse than they'll treat Edomite. And the Edomite is the one who put you in captivity. The Edomite who who is the one who's who's secretly trying to figure out how to kill you or to do something to you. Not your own. But that, that was the curse that was put on us, but still, even 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 with that 
being said. That just shows you how, how destroyed we are and how low the Lord has brought us. And how and this shows us how much important that we really need the Lord. We really need him. We really need him to come back and, and, and to do away with this place and establish the kingdom. Because this place is terrible. This place is a, exceedingly polluted with wickedness. And and Jake is is right in the middle of it. You know? And that's why that's what the scripture said. With his anger, he's furious. The Lord is furious at us. He don't give a fuck about these heathen nations. He's furious at us. Because what? Because back then what our forefathers did, which which are we we're, we're them same people today. So back then what we did, sinning against the Lord, and and, and and even now. Um you got Jake, like I just read Jake, um worshiping other gods and stuff like that. This um the scriptures talk about how how Yahweh Shem is a is a jealous guy. You're, we're not supposed to have no other gods before him. Jake giving into all other type of shit. Anything that they anything any new thing they come up with that that they were built against God, they they with it. Rebel against Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, they are with it. So that's how the Lord is going to destroy them. And that's why after he destroyed them, you're going to know that he's the true power. That he was the one in control of all of this thing. You're going to know his name. The importance of his name. You're going to know Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. You're going to know that. So uh, so that's pretty much it, man. You know. Hey, man. If, you, if you're in this thing, you know, be thankful. Be thankful. You know, stay in it. You know, continue to draw near to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You know, because we in those times. We're in the end times, you know. Prophecy is speaking. The time time is moving faster. The days are moving faster, you know. And and if, if you got Jake out here that don't want to get it, fuck him. Because the scriptures talk about don't don't um don't pray for them. For what? What are we gonna pray for them for when they when they've been given multiple chances and opportunities to to get it, but they choose not to? So fuck them. Let the Lord deal with them. Just do 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 your duty, as as Jake. I'm talking about I'm talking about you, Jake man. Do your duty, as as being a being being this thing, being a teacher. Continue to build yourself up. Continue to trust in the Lord. Continue in these scriptures. Continue to continue to keep applying these scriptures. To your life, continue to to rehearse the righteous acts to the best of your ability, and then just get a rest to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So I'm gonna close out by giving all praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakadash Shalom.